Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Will I Ever Be Good Enough? As a family therapist, Dr. McBride receives many patients in her clinical work, and many of them have spoken of their inner pains. Upon investigating the origin of this pain, she found that most of it comes from the patient's mother. Through this, Dr. McBride also began to trace herself back to her own past life experiences and emotional states. She found that like the patient sitting in front of her, she had been deeply bound by maternal love. At all times, wherever she was, whatever her position and achievements she achieved, there was always a harsh critic chattering in her mind and harshly denigrating her, it doesn't matter how hard you try, your body is falling apart, and you're a wimp. Or can't you see you're a loser? Or you should be ashamed of yourself. These vicious words were like a knife which plunged into McBride's heart countless times. In her later career in psychotherapy, she met many children who no matter how hard they tried always felt unworthy in the eyes of their mothers. She had one 62-year-old patient named Susan, who had spent her life seeking her mother's approval but was disappointed all her life, ultimately dying in despair. She told her husband to carve her tombstone which she tried, she tried, she tried, she tried, and then she died. In fact, the relationship between mother and daughter is very complicated. The main reason for the situation mentioned above is that many girls did not receive genuine love from their mothers during their growth. Their mothers were always self-centered, desired to control their children and lacked affection for them, which later causes many psychological problems in their children's adult life. These mental problems include oversensitivity, indecisiveness, a general sense of insecurity, lack of self-trust, inability to succeed in relationships, and so forth. How can a daughter recover from a narcissistic mother? This book will give you the answer. The relationship between mothers and her sons and daughters is complex and delicate, where girls are more likely to suffer the most. Therefore, this book is primarily about the mother-daughter relationship. The author Kathy McBride with a PhD in psychology is an American licensed marriage and family therapist. She specializes in research on the effects of narcissistic parents on their children. She has extensive clinical experience in the fields of trauma, sexual abuse, domestic violence, divorce, step family therapy, and marital and family therapy. She's managed to help a lot of women get back in touch with themselves. This book is based on the author's own experiences of self-healing and includes many clinical cases and research. McBride decided to repair her own relationship with her mother before mustering the energy to help those in need. The book contains details of many of the negative emotions involved in the mother-daughter relationship. The purpose is not for us to blame our mothers, but to ask us to recognize the facts, understand what we are going through, and confront the problem before we can recover. Now, let's begin our healing journey. We'll highlight this book in three parts. Part 1, Characteristics and Types of Narcissistic Mothers. Part 2, How do narcissistic mothers affect their daughters? Part 3 Ways for Girls to Recover from Narcissistic Mothers